Hello to you, Infinite Spiral here, back in Kerbal Space Program. So, last time we were playing, we successfully uh, tested the solid fuel booster while it was landed here at the launch pad. And, uh, yeah, we gained some experience in performing, or in completing these here contracts. We gained decent amount of science, so let's go ahead and go spend that science right now, those research points. So, I, it'd be great if I could do all three of these, because these are all great things to unlock, um, but we're gonna start with survivability, just because these radial parachutes are very, very necessary. I can't always, you know, count on the fact that I'm gonna have leftover fuel for trying to land successfully. And those will make it much easier to land without everything breaking upon impact. So that's that. We got 28 points to spend, and one of these will be it. I believe it's going to be stability, because I want these radial decouplers. I want them bad. Because <clears throat> those things are fantastic. So, got that going on. These contracts, right now we have that visual survey still active. That's... Sort of a long-term one. I mean, they've given me five years to complete the thing. <laughs> so we might be able to get that done, but we didn't finish testing the stack decoupler. We did it landed on Kerbin, and for some reason it's not complete, so... I think I'm just gonna go out to the launch pad and just activate the thing and see if that uh, successfully completes it correctly. So... I'll try this one. Load. Yeah, this thing. <laughs> God, what a turd. I mean, it even looks like a turd. <laughs> That'd be a satisfying one to push out. Gross. <laughs> Alright, let's just come out here and fix the staging so that that's just the first thing that goes. So, just test the stack decoupler. So, wow, that was not what I was going for, but uh, let's cut power and engage the parachute. Really? Well, okay, guess we're doing a manual landing and failing miserably. <laughs> That's fucking ridiculous. I think I engaged the parachute either while traveling too slowly or at too low of an altitude. Not totally sure, but hey, we successfully tested it. Good deal. <laughs> Let's go ahead and recover the vessel. Holy crap. Yeah, we didn't get any science. We got some funds back. Man, what a waste of money. And no XP. No reputation gained either. But let's recover these uh, bits of debris that we left behind. Okay. Let's go double check, make sure we don't have any other debris just laying about. Nope, seems that we don't. So, now that that's done, let's check our contracts and it's actually let's not do that because it's become clear to me that we're gonna need a lot of money because right now we can only build ships with 30 parts or less and with the next upgrade we can get 255 parts in a ship and action groups will unlock which will be make things a lot more effective but it's really expensive so it's gonna be a while before I can afford that and you know, each one of these buildings can be upgraded, so I can only have five active Kerbals, and they can't disembark outside of Kerbin. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, there's just a bunch of stuff that I'm completely unable to do until I upgrade these buildings. So, I need to get on earning money. That is very, very important. So, the way we're gonna try and approach that... Um... Now, one of these, each of these, uh, crap, what are the campaigns, or not campaigns, but strategies, each of these strategies gives you a trade-off. You either, you know, you're giving up one resource for another, basically. So this one right here would take money, take a percentage of your income, and give you extra reputation. So what we want is something that takes something else and turns it into money. And that is none of these yet. Fundraising campaign, that's definitely the one that we would want. 
but we can't afford it yet because our reputation is too low. So we're going to have to get our reputation up and come back to that. So, let's look for something with a decent rep payoff. 19 there, that's another one of those difficult ones. 18 for this, another, yeah. Don't want to do visual surveys just yet. Because we need better rockets. And testing things doesn't seem to give you very m Well, never mind. This one would give us a decent reputation payout. So I guess we can test the parachute. 21 versus 24. So that would be solid fuel booster while flying and on Kerbin at a certain altitude and a certain speed. We might be able to accomplish that. Maybe. Okay, that is a whole bunch of reputation gain and a decent amount of money too. And some science. So I think... Hold on, let's check these altitudes and speeds. If we can do both of them at once. Not radial decoupler, radial mount, parachute. Okay, nope, the altitudes are... Vastly different from one another, so... Or from each other. As are the speeds, although there's overlap a little bit. So... We'll do the radial mount parachute. Yes. Accepted. So, let's... Check how many parts we have. We can put 20 more parts on this thing, nifty. So, we want the radial mount parachutes right there, and we're gonna put, I guess, three. That seems like a good number. And. Yeah, whatever. That looks okay. Three parts out of 20. And I'll go ahead and do two of the solid boosters. All right, that looks good. And cool, you get 13 more parts to put on. Out of 30? I thought it was out of 20. All right, my mistake. Wait, what's the weight? Oh, we are quickly approaching the weight limit, so none of these other things are going to matter all that much. We'll just throw on some nose cones and winglets, just for extra stability. And let's see if we can add any more, oops, any more fuel. Nope, that's too much. So, back to winglets it is. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. <clears throat> I'm actually going to rotate the entire thing. Because I like looking at it out of the hangar doors and not so much against the side. Just bugs me. So, <laughs> it's not a turd anymore. Ah, oh, fuck, we're still overweight? Ah. Oh. Well, maybe if we take these down to just two of them. Yeah, that did it. Okay. Retry. Mm-hmm. All right, so we need to test the radial mount parachute in flight over Kerbin. And we're gonna. That's a little better. Be able to look at all this thing. So it's tested on Kerbin. We need to test it while flying. We'll try and get all of those at once. So. We need to get up to above 23,600. So roughly 24 to 25 kilometers up is where we're going to be. 
activating. So, let, oh fuck, we didn't even check the staging. Foolishness, that goes first, then those activate. Let's throw that on the same one. After that, that goes. All right, good. Going for it. I love watching that plume, the big old cloud from the ground. <laughs> Pretty epic. Okay, still in atmosphere, about to run out of these, and gone. Hey, activate, what the fuck? There. <laughs> I think my mouse was in the wrong place. So that was somewhat less than efficient. Those will crash to the ground and explode, surely. Alright, so these solid boosters are almost enough. They might be enough to get us fully out of uh, the thick atmosphere. Seems like they will be, or at least right to the edge of it. Which is good enough for me. Alright, now let's start turning, just because why the hell not? <laughs> I mean, we're not going to get into orbit with this thing, but it's better to practice that now, I suppose? I don't know. <laughs> it's just force of habit. It feels weird to fly straight up and straight back down. So, okay. We're at 22 kilometers. Let's go ahead and cut engines now. Look at our peri or apoapsis. It's dropping, but it's already above where we need, okay, we're in the place where we can test. All right, let's just activate those parachutes. Done. And because the atmosphere is too thin, nothing happened with them, <laughs> but they have been tested. So, let's go ahead and fast forward until they do engage as we fall back down into the atmosphere. Oh, and while we're at it, let's observe some mystery goo. Oh, there they go. <laughs> that was mildly dangerous to have those open in time warp. J jiggles and wobbles as the craft flies. Yeah, we already got that, so. Not worth a whole lot, but whatever. Actually, we'll reset that one. We'll get that when we splash down, because I don't remember if we actually got any of that while landed, or well, in the water, rather. So, once we splash down, I'll be rejoining you. Yes, success. Recover the vessel. Oh, too busy falling over. And actually, I almost forgot we're going to do this. The goo escapes into the water! <laughs> That's some good science. Let's see, let's take a crew report from the water. Yeah, we haven't done that yet. Worth two science. That's so much. And can we do an EVA here? Yes, we can. I think that's enough to do an EVA report. <laughs> yes, it certainly is a precarious situation. I tend to agree. And let's get back in and recover vessel. All right. So we got 15 science earned. That is nice. This mission summary for not a turd. We got some funds back for the parts. And did that say no reputation gained? That doesn't make sense. I think it's lying to me. So, you know what? We actually probably could do these visual surveys now because we got pretty high up into the altitude. We got up above the atmosphere, so let's go ahead and do those. Get some decent money and some science and reputation. And see how much we have. Oh, yes, okay. 
So we have enough to actually start our fundraising campaign, but... Yes, we do have enough for the full amount. We can't go beyond 25% yet because that's one of those uh, building upgrade statistics. So we'll go ahead and accept this strategy. Yes, let us implement it. Activated. All right. So now we'll get less reputation, but we'll get more funding. So that is great. And with that implemented, I believe we're going to go ahead and call the episode here. I've been Infinite Spiral. If you enjoyed what you saw here, go ahead and hit that like button. I would really appreciate that. It helps me immensely. Uh, if you'd like to continue seeing more of this, go ahead and subscribe if you're not already. And we will see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.